Sliding floodgates close to varying degrees to reduce the flow of water or stop it completely. Making these sliding gates begins with a stainless steel plate. These are craned to a conveyor that will take the plate into a chamber that houses a laser cutter. The crane releases its suction grip and the conveyor takes the steel plate into the chamber. Lighting isn't required as the next stage is a fully automated process. Here, computer software directs the laser to cut out parts for the floodgate frame, including the assembly holes. The laser cut pieces are then stacked and numbered to categorize them for the next operation, forming. A part is placed in the press brake, which makes the required multiple bends for this piece, the bottom frame of the floodgate. After forming the side frames the same way, reinforcements are evenly placed along the entire length. These are then tack welded to the frame. The reinforcements are then checked to ensure that they're set square before they're fully welded in place. Next. The two side frames are joined to the bottom frame and then welded together. At the midpoint of the structure, a stainless steel ceiling frame is positioned and then welded in place. Fitted into the frame next is a polyethylene strip which acts as a seal. It also has a groove in it to accommodate the sliding gate. This is clamped to the frame and hammered into position. Using holes in the side of the frame as a guide, holes are drilled in the polyethylene strip and then bolts are inserted, which are then locked into place with nuts. Another piece of polyethylene is placed in the horizontal ceiling frame and the location for screw holes is marked. The strip is removed, and this time tapered holes are drilled for countersunk screws. A silicon strip is inserted in a recess in the seal, before everything is screwed in position. Once the frame is complete, the floodgate sliding door is fitted. This will be raised and lowered using crank-operated gears. First, an opening for an unneeded drive gear is closed using silicon glue and a plastic stopper. Then a washer and bearing is slid over the centre shaft opening. The upper housing is then fitted to enclose the gears. And the completed gearbox housing is then sealed with long bolts. Next. A thread is pressed into a long stainless steel rod by powerful ridged rollers. This rod will serve as the floodgate's operating stem. When ready for installation, one end of the stem is bolted to the slide gate, while the gearbox is threaded onto the other end. Because the crank is yet to be installed, a drill is used to spin the gears and test the operation of the sliding floodgate. The floodgate is then checked to ensure it meets the design specifications. Finally, the surface below the floodgate is flooded with water to confirm that nothing seeps through. If so, this proves that the floodgate is watertight and ready to hold firm in the event of an emergency.